Good morning. Hi. Uh oh, didn't plug Uh-oh. in the spirit. Well, I, if I plug it in ahead of time, uh, oh. it doesn't turn green. So I oh, have to do it after we go live. Okay, well, because we psych people out. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that did anything, but it, it amused ourselves. Oh, the ourselves. sound is back on. Oh, is it on? Do yes. we have to Green repeat light? everything we just said? No, well, I don't, don't remember what I said. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Didn't say anything, actually. Hey, I was out past my bedtime. Wow. Way past I my bedtime. I bet you were like, owlie. Uh, what does that mean? Like, yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> we went to the pub station and we saw the Brothers Comatose, a bluegrass band. <laughs> Yeah, it was great. It what was a great name. Really the good. Brothers it was a group of five. I mean, just the musicianship. Mm. I was impressed. I'm sure that would have been They fun. were working hard. All of those. Little fingers. Fingers, everything. Strings, vocals, oh, writing, yeah. music. Oh, was we'll really see good. if we can find them on there. If you live in, radio If you station. live in Bozeman or Missoula, do they're they... heading to Bozeman okay. tonight. I think Missoula the next night. Mm-hmm. My son in Boise, I already told him about it. Okay, well, we're going to put it on our playlist today. I'm going to add a couple. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Really good. Fun. So, yeah, it was fun. Cool. Yeah. So I might, but anyway. Um, and then we've got a little plug for, before we get going on yeah, our we'll regular you're schedule. you're working hard program. on your socksy socks. Look at our socks. We're just going to flash them. Woo! Woo! Flash! <laughs> we're getting some Sock socks. Flash. <laughs> Yeah, these are fun and pretty. So next week's the deadline, right? These are right? your early birders that got things done Yeah, early. we had a big influx. This but look, was the first one. If you're wondering about um, Two Sisters Stripes again, this yeah. turns into Into this. That. That's I love so the little white. Cute. The white ones have mm-hmm. speckles. The That's white adorable. stripes. So, yeah. Okay, so next, I think next week we're chatting about socks, right? Yeah, I hope we get a bunch in. Yeah. Okay. Monday so, is the deadline. I have a feeling we're going to get some singles. And re- Yeah, Single totally. Category. There's going to be some heavy competition in the single category. And newbies, keep on working, you guys, yep. if you're brand new sock knitters. That is a category. Yeah. Like a late edition. <laughs> we didn't put that in the blog. That we can add whatever can we edit. want. Because so. we can change our minds at will. Wait, did you show that one? The lacy well, one? Yeah, I okay. did. Yeah. Fun. Okay. We'll, I mean, next week we'll talk next all about Tuesday it. Next Tuesday we'll yep. announce the nominees. Uh-huh. Right, right. <laughs> Soxy <Yep>. Awards. <laughs> okay, today we're going to talk about spring sweaters. We had a request. We've had some requests. You guys, we're waiting time to hear. Start giving yep. us ideas. It is spring now, as of yeah. Sunday. So That's it's right. time to get out the oh, yeah. springy yarns. I didn't remember. I didn't. Spring color. It is. It's yep. click. It's Jim's mom's birthday. So. Okay. Yep. So spring sweaters. <laughs> spring season official. And, and we'll uh, dive right in. Yeah, well, we had some friends of the shop, mm-hmm. kind of really yeah. nice, and gave us some loaners mm-hmm. to show mm-hmm. everyone. Uh, so we're kind of excited, and I feel like we definitely need to have some of these as actual samples, like get some samples made for these. You could so. make one of these for Maddie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she lives in Australia. I know, but I don't see her. She doesn't wear cropped things, though. So. Okay, hello. You can link them. I yeah, that's make true. Make it for the that's person. True, 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 <laughs> true. You could probably make it like a nursing top. You could do the little I flap. Think there's a couple other tops that I think <laughs> that she would probably really like. Linda, <laughs> design a nursing top. <laughs> Come on. You're creative. <laughs> well, I'm so. figuring out crochet right now because. So now in my head, I'm trying to figure out how can I work some crochet and knitting together in the same project. Okay. That's where my brain's going. Okay. All right. So anyway, outline tank. This is from Jessie May Designs. Jessie Mead. Sorry, Jessie. Didn't mean to butcher that. We always call her Jessie May, but. Okay. Um, Outline (laughs) tea and tank. This is the tank. And this was knit by Callie. Yep. And. um, I love the little. The little drop stitchy thing. Fingering weight line, yarn. Outline right here, yep. A really quick project, fingering weight. You can, of course, lengthen it. You can layer it over, you know, everything, of course. This is fingering. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think this is a kind of a speckly. I think it could be any fingering, really. But like hedgehog or 
Well, she got it from us, but she did I know, it a few I don't years ago. Which one it is? So Callie, you might remember, does um, yoga, yoga, and um, she's like super cute, and she can rock this. And she although does. she said she would probably lengthen it if she oh, were to do it again. Again, oh really? So let me see. Yes. Yep, I could wear it well, over it's my a bra. shirt. For me, <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. Okay, <laughs> and yarns under there for. Oh, oh, a of oh, oh, great. Oh, okay. yeah. Yep, yep. And then the outline t um, tea, um, Jesse did this one, I think. So similar. Next, similar. Same. Fingering weight. And this, this one we borrowed from Cindy. Cindy. Thanks, Cindy. And um, this is darling. So she, Cindy carried some mohair with this, and, you know, that it's... And it's, it's gorgeous. And it's got sparkle. Got some sparkle. That's really I think pretty. that's from the mohair. I don't know. Yeah. I think, I I don't know. think it is. Anyway, okay. it's really cute. And uh, that one I'm tempted by. Mm. I don't, like, it's just kind of me. I'm not really into strapless or sleeveless things so mm. much anymore. I but... like, I don't mind my arms too much. Mm -hmm. um, I probably wouldn't wear it like that at work. But in Australia... I probably See, will. See, you need to I make like one for Maddie. I like wearing, like, cut-ins, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a bralette. And, a, yeah. Anyway, uh -huh. I could do that. So, yeah. anyway. Um, so, fingering white. So, we pulled some Sabri, which uh, is a cotton ooh. with a just a tad of alpaca. That's Absolutely nice. Absolutely love this. I'm working with its heavier cousin right now. Mm -hmm. Um all neutral colors in this right well it's not true we do have some bright colors so. and he has some new colors coming so Ooh, we will bitty. get them yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's that was a great yarn but isn't this cute look how sweet it is all folded up it hardly I love that. takes up any room in your i, mean, in your I think i might just borrow this <laughs> maybe we'll have you do a style <laughs> um, um, over it. i know uh -huh. well you know what your little jean jacket mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right really cute yeah definitely yep. it's cute um and hedgehog really it's so, Carrie's, my daughter's working on um, a little ribbed top with hedgehog and it's so cute. I'm oh, showing off we have hedgehog over and here. We have it on order. And yep. um, with hedgehog, as with all good things in life, you have to wait. Yes. And so we are waiting patiently. Um, yeah. Or so that's. Or I pulled all those Oh, colors. right. Oh, oh yeah. right here. I, I could mm. totally see myself using, yeah. using mm -hmm. that. And I definitely like Mojave at a tighter gauge. So. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that'd okay. be so cute. I'm tempted by that one, too. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think everyone I think is. We, all we should, should do be. a knit-along. <laughs> Let's do an outline knit-along. Yeah, that's cute. It's How a about good, good pattern. Out of the lines knit-along, we'll call it. Color outside the lines knit-along. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next, the Etta T. Oh, my gosh. So many people did this last I know. year. We actually have a couple versions. So, so many this is people Connie's, right? will do it again this so, year. So this Connie's. is Connie. So lots of different kind of colors. This, this is, is all is summer, summer sesame. We have a shop sample, too. Oh, yeah, we, we do. Oh, yeah. Um, cute. Yeah. Quick and project. Yeah, very easy. Mm -hmm. Very easy to do. And so we got some super fun summer yarns. This is uh, both our Barocco. One is Vivo. So they're both... Here, Sorry, to close to like 300 yards. Some One's over, one's under. That was but, one of the attractions for this yarn and this project. Right. It, it, it only didn't takes break like the bank. three balls. Yeah, you just, you know, grab, so, grab yeah, three and this go is under to town. This is an under $50 project. Mm -hmm. So the, And hello, that's another appealing thing about summer knits. I know. Is, yeah, no you're not. No yeah, sleeves. No sleeves, quick, yep. Um, less expensive, yeah. yeah so, so anyway. The you summer sesame more. definitely has a different kind of look. It's deeper tones. And then the Vivo is more, of, I would say, more classic summery. But Everyone who did this be... project last year was like, this is so yeah, fun. It almost turned into a potato chip. Yeah. Because people were tempted to do another one. Yeah, it's a fun one. So these yarns, like, would empathy work too for the Etta? Um Probably yeah. this is DK. I think it calls more for DK. So you're probably going to have a little bit more open weave with the empathy, but why not? I yeah, mean, get gauge. We found that out because of the potato chip knit along. I mean, mm -hmm. we could as yeah. long as you could get gauge, you were good. So. Um, Luma would be nice. Yes, for definitely the for more solid. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Right. Did I say I was looking at? Rift. We're not to the rift yet. Okay. I was out late it. last night. So. <laughs> yeah. You can't blame her. That's my excuse today. Um. All right. The classic tea. 
by yeah. Darling Jador. And so and Ashley... I feel like we have featured one of her patterns before. I do too. But because I, I remember saying the name and I think it was some of her socks. There's what it looks Ashley. like. Ashley. I looked her up. She does lots of really nice basic patterns. It's super classic. Um, and in this case, Ashley is really highlighting the yarn with the simple pattern. This it's is darling. Uh, Hedgehog Tweety. Mm -hmm. This was their uh, light colored mm -hmm. Tweety. And just FYI, mm -hmm. the black noir mm -hmm. Tweety is on its way. It is. Yeah. Yeah. End of the, yeah I just so, love the way this is showing the pops, mm -hmm. the tweeds, and they're so bright and fun. It's so fun. It's going to be such a fun one to it wear. It's going to be airplane knitted all day mm. on Wednesday. Oh, so you're going to you're going to get pretty far, but I you're going to have it done by next week. Maybe that's I need I'm going to have to find an airplane project yeah, for do. myself mm -hmm. for my yep. 17 well basically 24 hour day. Okay, but again, this would work Luma for it. Would be Luma would yes. be really nice. And There's we new have colors new colors. What else? You could double up any DK. This any is DK. a new color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Viva would be nice. I know. Mm -hmm. I so know. a lot of these things are going to be, you know, you choose a project Acadia and then there's... Acadia would drape mm. beautifully. Uh -huh. Really yeah. nice. Or double up some fingering, really light fingering, like um, metal. Or that mm -hmm. other metal yarn that we got in. I don't think it's over here, but the watercolors is um, mm. it's kind of a fingering mm -hmm. to sport weight cotton. Mercerized cotton. Oh, my gosh. They're yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. So you're interested in the black. Tweety, you should call and reserve. Yeah, right? yeah. Because it's gonna go it's fast. It's limited. It will. Very limited. Very limited. Especially mm -hmm. if you want to do sweater quantities. Mm -hmm. Okay, the rift. Mm. Yeah, That's one we have a picture of. It's because right we don't have a sample. At your knees. Oh right, I'm looking for a project. <laughs> okay. Okay, the rift is by Jacqueline Cieslac. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Um, so it's really fun. Little T. You can go many different ways. There's two necklines. What? Optional higher. Higher. bust <laughs> darts. Short or long sleeves. Custom fit bicep. All of that in one pattern. Right. So um, she, it's probably a long hmm. pattern. <laughs> right. It might be a big but thing to print Lots of up. information. So it's pretty fun though and it's pretty popular. Um, I looked up. There yeah. are probably, there's 1,600 projects, mm, yeah. over 1,600 projects for this. Mm -hmm. So if you're just going to look on Ravelry to get some great ideas on, you know, style and stuff like that, there's and 1,600 yarn, to yarn choose from. yarn options, that's kind of right. fun, too. It's really cute. Yeah. So we I have, love that little size detail. I do, that's too. Why I printed yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just cute. There are brand new colors of Luma. Um, and Luma is a fabulous yarn from Fiber Company. So, you know, empathy. Mm -hmm. I empathy was going to say, as I was looking through Ravelry, I was just going to comment on Ravelry itself and just what a wonderful resource it is. Like when you are investigating a pattern and you're not sure what to do, um, and even if it's, you know, a good pattern, I always try to see how many projects... People of not, you can assume there's probably people that haven't submitted projects Many to Ravelry. Who don't. But the people that do, it's really helpful to, well, people like us, so we can see how successful a pattern is. So um, when you see that someone's done 1,600 projects, you know, you're not going to look, for, there's not going to be too many mistakes. I mean, you know, it's, it's a well written pattern. So, yeah, it's a great resource. There's a lot of resource. reasons to, to put your stuff on Ravelry okay, if well, you I want don't. to. Sorry. I know. <laughs> I haven't in a long time, but I used to. But right. I do use it in that way. Right. Um, so, and Hempathy would be a really nice yarn for the Rift also. Um, Hempathy from Elspeth Levold. It's been around for a long time. Yeah, definitely um, not a new yarn no. at all, but the, it's Again, just the colors are new. The sign of and a they're gorgeous. great product. You yeah. Know, it's... Yeah, so that has come in again. We had it at our old shop. We did, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and now it's back. Yeah, it's a great one with lots of options. Um, yeah, okay, so that's a good one. Okay, uh, slope. slope. That's slope. something that we borrowed from Cindy. And she knit it with Shibui. 
twig. I don't know that this one is actually twig, but twig would be yes, but it would it. be wonderful. Um, beautiful be tank, so. high low, just and it looks so pretty okay. on everybody. Turn around. Turn okay, around. there's your low. Yep. And here's your high. Yep. It, the dark might be hard. Mm -hmm. It's not showing very well. It's kind of a tweed even. It actually looks a lot she like this. She did use yeah. Shibui. Yeah, it's um, gorgeous. So, so that's that, gorgeous. Yeah. And that's a Shelly Anderson pattern, which is Shibui, actually. <clears throat> yeah, I love this. This would be good on anybody, too. Mm. It's a great layer. That would layer be a Maddie piece. pattern. Mm. Yes. And okay. it would be a lot of knitting pattern. There you go. <laughs> Take it on your yep. trip. Yep. Airplane knitting. You, yeah. Yeah, get past a certain point. It is. It looks, it's go. knit in the round. It's nice. Very nice. Okay. And it's gorgeous on. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Cindy. Another Shelly Anderson pattern and knit by Cindy Gable. Mm -hmm. She likes all these nice summery tops because she eventually is moving to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So she'll be set. So this one has this beautiful um, mohair little detail down here that looks like it's very layered with that the mohair. Sheer. I just love it. So that is gorgeous. It's split on both sides. And, and Cindy, so it's going to look really nice. Cindy knit this really quickly. She was she had a deadline. Um, there was a class reunion late last summer. Oh, and that's she right. was like, I'm working on this. And anyway, it, oh, it's so Yeah, pretty. it's gorgeous. If you haven't knit with the linens it's just a wonderful feel so we have lots of color combos besides right mm -hmm. of course it's you know doing the tone on tone is gorgeous and that's one thing that shibui does well very well pretty yep so would maddie wear this too yes she mm -hmm. would yeah yep. that looks like australia yeah uh-huh the thing about like in australia it's so humid and everything's so sticky, you want, yeah. linen is perfect for that. And you want it flowy. You don't really want a lot of stuff touching your body. No you just clingy. want it, Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, I just have to digress. The opening band last night at the thing, um, they had a guy was wearing like a leather or pleather kind of jacket. Yeah. And his guitar and no shirt under it. That must it be It looks like it might have really been sticky. Really sticky. <laughs> Anyway. Not leather pants? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, just jeans. <laughs> no, like... Anyway, if that was not the brother's comatose, that was someone else. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, we have time for one more. Uh, what is that? Okay. Mirage. Mirage. That, that this Mirage. one is Mirage. Just so so the hello. Oh, hello that, from hello. my colors. Another hello. one. Hello. 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 Another one from Jesse. Uh, this is a, a new one, right? This new is a new release, right? Not, no, no, it's not. been around for a little bit. But I love it. Her newest I one is it. the gingham, the great gingham. Oh, yeah, that one so, I love too. fingering weight color work yeah, and in color. a crop version. And think color. Yeah. Like, I love this because it just screams summer to me. It screams it. Mm -hmm. Like, I just It's cute. Yeah. With our new mom jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Those, are you a new mom? I or are the I'm jeans? a new. new. I'm reliving the the bad Back dream. But. So we were look. I mean, we do think that it might be nice to plan this one out a little bit as and not dive into stash and make it super scrappy. But you yeah, can do whatever I, you want. I it. love this. I was just counting. Okay, mm -hmm. one like how mm -hmm. many how many stripes of each color there there is. In so different fashions. Yeah. Camper would be a fabulous base. Uh, definitely. Um, phenol garn would be another fabulous base. We have like a bajillion colors of phenol garn. Um, again, camper. I know they keep um, saying you're supposed to use wool, but I just, maybe it's just the colors, but I really like, okay, fine wool in those colors. Because <laughs> I think that'd be I'm look fabulous. You. It's, I think it needs to be wool. Well, I'm not, I'm not necessarily yeah. saying not wool I'm and she does actually wool say don't in these colors superwash so either so anyway not to be lecture mode i was not saying <laughs> to not use wool i was just saying to use these colors uh, okay. in wool okay yeah okay. That there we go fun. and we've got them what about uh, Lana Vendelay. Lana Vendelay would be fabulous. Pretty summer Bal colors. Balayage. Mm-hmm. Multitude. Yeah. 
the multitudes of colors. There's not really like a base color in here. I think there should be though. There, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say it's there's a color. Well, yeah, yeah, but it's not like an overall. Like there's. Well, it's yeah. It's, it's back there and to the point that yeah, you don't notice it. Right. The colors right. Pop. Yeah. But there needs to be a theme. Yeah. We saw some projects right. without a color mm -hmm. theme. And not. And it wasn't as cute. Uh huh. Right. So, yeah, I love. I love the how they've paired it out. It's almost like a little cartoon drawing, kind of. It's cute. It's a cute pattern. The Great Gingham is her newest one, and it's also really, really cute, cute and very gingham-y. <laughs> um, so, fun. Yeah, she has yeah. some cute designs. So, Rift and then Hello for My Colors are the ones we featured today. Um, it's like a mish. Like, we've just got, like, a smorgasbord of so yarns fun. here. So, soundtrack that I'm wearing could be... Uh, you know, get your worsted weight cottons. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And there's a DK Cute. version of that. That's and fun. And I'm wearing the Ranunculus, yeah. which is the spring colors. Oh, but my gosh. We have got uh -huh. summer options for this. So yep. you need Definitely. to come in and talk list. to us. Yeah. yeah. It's a good one. Okay. okay. I think that's it. All right. Keep it in your socks. See you next See time. You for the Soxy mm -hmm. Yep. Soxy Awards. Have a great okay. day. See you later. Bye.